Tehran, Iran's capital city. Every Friday after prayers, crowds chant death to America. It is a ritual that has gone on for much of the past quarter century. This boiling rage is fueled by a single idea. Iranian leaders blame the U.S. for their current status as a weak nation. They believe themselves to be a godly society and they see us as their tormentors and their oppressors. It's not just a slogan to hate America, kill Americans. It's a policy. It's uh, part of their uh, reason for being. They believe Iran to be one of the great countries of the world. They see its current status as one of the world's weaker powers as being a temporary aberration. But how far will Iran go to resurrect its power? The answer remains a frightening mystery. Today, U.S. national security may depend on unraveling Iran's true nuclear potential and intentions. For years, the CIA and other intelligence agencies have sought to uncover the secrets of Iran's military ambition. Gradually, they have unearthed a chain of evidence that suggests Iran is preparing to build and detonate a nuclear bomb. They seem to be very serious about desiring to have nuclear weapons in spite of all this gibberish about peaceful uses of atomic power for electricity. Here's a country that's sitting on a lake of oil. If Iran is not working on an atomic bomb program, uh, they've managed by accident to uh, inadvertently assemble most of the elements of it. U.S. intelligence officials believe they must assume that Iran will become a nuclear power within five years and that United States interests might be a primary target. Well, I think that the most basic reason that uh, Americans would be concerned about uh, atomic ayatollahs is that they keep chanting death to America after Friday prayers. They're still doing it after 25 years. 